What's up everybody? Well, I got another gameplay video for you guys on the Asus G15 Advantage and today we're gonna check out Witcher 3 again and finish it up. At least on the laptop. We still got the secondary computer and primary computer after that though. But this is the one where I'm not quite sure how it's gonna do. It could not do 60 FPS on ultra wide so I know it's not gonna be able to do ultra at 4K. But how far will it go before it starts being unplayable? That's the question. This one is definitely gonna take some tinkering to get to a pretty playable fr uh, a playable frame rate, I can already tell. But that'll still be fun. But anyway, why don't we go ahead and jump on in, look at the setting, and then get some gameplay, both camera and screen recorded. Now it's time for us to do some 4K on this thing. So let's go through the settings of low real quick though before we get into game for the first time at 4K. And I have no idea what to expect. Might be unplayable right off the get-go, who knows? Hopefully not, but only time will tell. Let's get to the bottom of this and then we'll jump in the game and find out. All right, time to find out. Well, let's run around on low here at 4K and see what we get for FPS. So far, so good anyway. But only just. I don't even know if medium will work without going under 60. Freak. Guess we'll have to wait and see, but first let's do what's at hand and just run around and get a little bit of some low gameplay in. What the fuck indeed? And don't mind the weird frame times, that's also from recording. You'll see that smooth out. Well, besides the random little bit of lag, every time, at least in all the rest of the resolutions, there's just been like random little hits and stutter here and there. Nothing that makes the game unplayable or anything, but just every once in a while there'll just be like a little lag spike. Not, I don't really know if that's happened yet here, but just keep an eye out for that. So far so good though, I don't know, is it? Well now it's time for medium on 4K. Let's see how this does, but of course first, it's settings time. I'm also excited to see how the desktops do on this game. Let's go find out how medium fares, shall we? Here's medium settings now. Let's get us some gameplay. And so far, so good. Even though we're recording, at least in these first couple of seconds, we're staying just barely above 60. Of course, that doesn't mean you would everywhere in the entire game, since I'm just testing one area here. But I'm still impressed. Yeah, if we weren't recording, we probably would not drop under 60 at all. And hell, we still haven't yet. We've gotten close here and there. I think I saw 62 as the lowest FPS so far. Now let's get out of town, though, and run around in nature, too. Oh, and my liquid metal came today, so... Tomorrow, I totally, well, let's see. On the 9th, December 9th, I totally did, uh, I'm going to probably open up my laptop and finally repaste the son of a bitch. And also do the washer mod to get a little bit more contact pressure. A lot of people say that helps a lot with temps, and I've actually seen it in a Reddit thread. Now, he got, he drilled holes in his, but I've got a, what do you call it, a cooling pad when I'm not making videos, so I don't think I'm gonna drill holes in the bottom of mine. Anyway, though, well, let's move on. Well, now let's do high and see how that does. But of course, first, we have to look at these settings. Now let's go look at the graphics here. High as well. And there we go. Let's go see how it does. Now let's get ourselves some high gameplay. And at least while we're recording, we're definitely not getting no 60. And I don't even think we would even if we weren't recording. Recording generally doesn't take up 10 FPS plus. It's usually more like four or five, maybe eight in certain games like Warzone kind of games. So I think if you wanted to over 60 FPS experience, you're gonna have to mess with settings at this point. You can't just rely on the quality presets if you wanna get past medium. But that's okay, we'll do that after we're done going through them. 
This time I'll have to actually do some settings. Seeing as though the rest of them are pretty easy, just run hot, run ultra, and you're good to go. But this time we're definitely going to have to add a my settings tab. I'm sure people appreciate that aspect after I started adding that. Because not only do the people who like watching me get camera gameplay get to their camera gameplay, but people get to see what it's like on uh, what should we call it? Untarnished by the FPS or of the capture program, OBS, taking away shit. Because even if it doesn't make, uh, take away FPS like on my capture computer, it still seems to fuck with the frame times for every now and then. It's completely game dependent though. Some games it does it in, some games it doesn't. It's very strange. Anyway though, let's move on. Well, now before we get to my settings, let's do Ultra real quick, which means we're gonna turn that Ambulant Collision up to max HBAO+. Plus. And now we're on Ultra here in the graphics preset as well. So let's just look through here, see what that all does. And with that, let's go see how it plays. Judging by how high it went, probably not well, but that's okay. All right, let's do Ultra now. And yeah, we're in the 40s still. Low 40s. But still, let's just run around and get a little gameplay. And this still might be fine for people who okay with under 60. I'm not one of those people, but I know there's lots of people that don't care about 60 FPS in games like this. Or at all in general. They just want to play the game, and as long as it gets 30 plus, that's yeah, more than playable to them. So that's another reason I do this. Because just because I don't enjoy it at this frame rate doesn't mean nobody will. I'm gonna beat you, kid. Aha! I'm fast as fuck, boy! Man, he's actually got a pretty decent amount of stamina. He can run pretty fucking far at full tilt. Considering how games usually go, obviously, a real athlete could run top speed way faster than that, or way farther than that, I'm pretty sure. Although, I'm still not 100%, because I know absolutely zero things about basically any sports whatsoever. Just not something that ever really interested me. Nothing against the people that do are interested in it, of course. It's just not my cup of tea. Anyway, let's move on. Well, now we're going to do my settings, since that game didn't quite run that great with the higher presets. So, let's just go through all of the post-processing first. Now, for the graphics section here. I turned off the NVIDIA hair work stuff, because I figured that was just sapping a bunch of our shit. Turned shadow down a tad. Just basically turned everything down a couple notches from Ultra. Didn't think it was going to do Ultra at all, period. But anyway, let's go hop in the game and see how I did. Now let's get some of my settings gameplay. Which so far, even at the beginning when I started the recording, only dropped down to 60. So will we be able to hang on to 60 plus the whole time even while recording? I sure hope so. Because at least when I was testing this before I started to actually record it sure didn't so I'd be kind of irritated if it started now like no matter where I went it never dropped under 60 but then again I wasn't screen recording at the time either so man for a while there I was starting to wonder did I get v-sync stuck on there or something shit oh shit that didn't work because it was just stuck at 60 fps for a while there I was like shit did I accidentally turn that on but no I did not it was just a coincidence And yeah, the game still looks fucking awesome. And still, now it runs really good, too. But that leads me to believe that on at least the next-gen consoles, this new patch for ray tracing is probably going to be a 30 FPS experience. If this thing can't even do 60 with no ray tracing, and it's pretty much a portable PS5. Anyway. Well, all right, guys. Let's get some camera gameplay in now my settings had to kind of add that into this one all the rest of them pretty much handled it no problem maxed out even ultra i probably would have been able to do ultra if i would have turned off the hair work stuff let's be honest and these settings kind of just hover right around 60. even while we were recording we barely dropped under 60. i think we dropped down like 57 when we looked at the water right at the end Yeah. 
not comfortable. Let's go back to cross leg. There we go. That's much better. This game still looks pretty damn good for how old it is, especially on 4K. the map. Still, this is a pretty big open world, though. Still though, we're staying above 60. Pretty damn smooth too. I haven't seen too many of the fucking spikes. I don't know if I've seen any since we started doing 4K. Although I say that and we're gonna get to a place and it's gonna go, wow, fuck you. Games love to do that to me. They're like, oh man, it's running real good. The second those I utter those words, it's like, oh, you think so, huh? Live guy, you got another thing coming. these things up. Ow. Fuck you. I won't pay attention. Take that, evil creatures. That were just minding their own business. enough camera gameplay now so why don't we go wrap this video on up well all right guys that is a wrap for witcher 3 at least on the asus g15 advantage and while it couldn't do it maxed out with hair works and all that stuff on it still did all right once i did my settings it barely dropped below 60 while we were recording and it never dropped below well we were not recording. Got close, got down like 62 or 61 a couple of times there, but still perfectly playable for a game like that. Now, 
once we add ray tracing to the mix, when that update comes out, I'm sure it's going to be absolute trash on this laptop anyway, but I'm very excited to try it out on the secondary computer and the primary computer. But anyway, that's all, all I got for you guys for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and until the next one, peace out, guys.